Welcome back, my friends. Listen to this stat. According to a new survey, 91% of people around the world think climate change needs to be acted on. Well, my next guest is working hard to do just that. Chris Kiefer from Rivers Our Life is joining me. Thank you so much for being here. How well, are you? Thank you for having me. I'm great. Of course. Okay, first of all, let's get some background. Yep. What's the goal of your organization, Rivers Our Life? I think Rivers Our Life is really about in inspiring action to protect and preserve and to explore our world's rivers. And we do that through storytelling yeah. of the amazing people that are doing great things. That's awesome. Now, the Midland-based organization recently commissioned a global survey in partnership with Louisiana State University on the state of rivers around the world. So why was the survey survey launched and what are some of the key findings? Well, there is some key takeaways. Uh, as you mentioned, we were with LSU. Yeah. We had over 6,000 applicants, wow. 14 countries and over four continents we did it. So it's a large survey. Some of the key takeaways are, I think that there is a need for greater education. Over 50% of uh, our survey say that they don't necessarily know how to get involved with the environmental issues. And so for us, it's about education. Uh, and I think another key stat would be that there is urgent action needed. Yeah. Um, you know, I think again, 50% of our people were saying they didn't even believe that people were protecting their local rivers, mm -hmm. and that's just simply not the case. So right. we need to change that. Change it. So, what does the survey tell us really about consumer behavior and mindset as it pertains to rivers across the world? I think there's more and more people that are caring now. I think okay. there's a lot of people that are saying, you know, the rivers are the lifeblood of our yeah. planet. And uh, sometimes there's a bad rap around cli climate change. And for us, it really is about progress over perfection. So mm. we're seeing more people care, more people taking action, and wanting to learn how to get involved. And that's where Rivers or Life comes in. Well, what's next for you? Because I know you're doing something different every single day, right? Yeah, every time <laughs> we come in here, we're doing <laughs> right. something, yeah. Uh, we're very excited. 2024 is going to be a big year for us. We yeah. have a lot of films right now. We've been filming all over the wow. all over the globe. Um, we've got films coming from Cambodia and from the Amazon, um, and really just continuing to tell those stories and working with River Heroes on hope and positivity. You know, how can we all help protect the health and state of our rivers? What would you say? One, I think you need to just learn a little bit more, educate yourself, but just take action. Just take a step in the first uh, in the first place. I think that's very, very important. When you see something laying around, pick it up. I think yeah. just taking little steps at a time, if we all do that, um, we're going to make change together. I love that. So how can people follow you and all the great work that you do? Yeah, so they can follow us at riversorlife.com. Uh, we encourage everybody to join the movement. We encourage conversation. It needs to happen. So they can join us there and sign up for our newsletter. Uh, and then all the social medias, Instagram, it's just at Rivers Are Life, and uh, we're out there telling great stories. Rivers Are Life. We'll have yeah. a link on our website, WNEM.com, as well. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you and very much. And good luck. Stay safe out there. As oh, well. yeah, we'll try. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM 4 pm news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 pm news spotlight.